and this lesson we're going to keep working on our cover so we have created our characters and a background element so what we can do now is work on the cover so we're going to create a rectangle that's going to be on the left side of our cover and this as this rectangle is going to be um, showing where the cover is and where the other part is going to be so I'm gonna just scale up my my peaks let's ungroup them a little bit and I'm gonna go to my ellipse tool and make a little ellipse on the on the feet and of the of the peaks now let's fill it with with gray and now I'm going to be able to to align that the lips send it to back and now let's just make a copy to the other peaks just adjust it a little bit and now I'm gonna give it to the other peaks this is just so that they don't look as if they are floating but they are uh, right there so I'm gonna group each individual peak with a shadow now scale them up a little bit move them a little bit there now select them make sure that you are aligning uh, to selection so if you do it like that it's going to be to the arbor that's not what you want so go to selection and then distribute them so now they are right there move them a little bit until you are happy with their positions and that you place them there we could bring another rectangle and let's fill this top part or actually maybe everything and I'm going to go right click arrange send to back and let's change this one to white now let's make another rectangle this one is going to be the sky let's make something like this and have it filled with a lighter blue select both the white and the blue and the arrange right click arrange send it back let's move them a little bit to the top and Make sure that you have everything contained on that canvas. And I'm going to move the house in. Make sure that you're moving the house around there. Shrink it. You don't need it that big. And send it to back. Everything except the peaks and the line on the left. Now that we have our houser, we can uh, distribute the elements properly and add some other things in case you need them. So make sure that we're moving everything accordingly. I'm going to go to my circle and sorry to my lips and press shift to create the circle and make it there. This is going to be a sun. And now we could create some clouds as well. So I'm going to go to my pen tool and press P, make a point, make another point, make another point and drag a little bit. And create these kind of shapes that look like a, like a cloud. Fill them with white. Let's do a different one. And remember the key is kind of having like a straight base and then move them. Clicking and dragging a little bit the rest of the... So now it is like that. Let's select this first one. Press F11, our shortcut to reflect and make a copy right there. You could modify it a little bit so it doesn't look the same. And also I think this doesn't have to be that tall. So now we are ready to add a title for our book. So Google Fonts is a great place to get free fonts that you could use on your projects and in here you can find very different types of fonts and you should spend some time looking at here and find a font that you like. There are also other websites out there that you could find your font so my personal choice is here but you could 
find them. You could go to something like handwriting or serif, sans serif. Try to find one that you think fits with your story. So I like Luckiest Guy. I think that's nice. So you can download that one and then go here on your tools panel and find the type tool. Click and let's type three little, sorry, let's make three little peaks. So we have it like that. But of course, its title would be super boring. So you can go to window, type, character, and a window like this is going to appear. Here and in here, you can change the name of the of the font and the different parameters. And if you click and go show options, you get way more options for your type. So the first thing is to make everything caps. So you can click right there on the TT to make everything caps. Let's change the font instance to, to that luckiest guy I like. And I'll truly a pics like that probably won't work. So just go behind pics and give it enter to add a space. Now let's just select the word pics and increase the size of the of the word. Now here you can change the space that is between each of the lines. That is called leading. So make them a little bit closer. And there you go. Now this title looks a little bit more appealing than what we had before. So what we're gonna do is, let's change it in white so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm gonna move it here. And now you can go to Window Appearance or find it right here. Let's bring it here so you can see it. Now, as you can see right now, we don't have anything. And that is because we have to go inside to find the fill and the stroke. So let's just select the world, go to the fill, and let's just click here on the trash can so you don't have anything. Now that that's okay, I'm gonna go to my selection tool, and here I'm going to add a new fill. Let's change that one to white, and now I'm going to add a new stroke. So if you click on that, now you have your stroke. Let's change, uh, make sure that your fill is on top of your stroke because the order here, it matters. So change the stroke to something like, probably 60 is too much, but you can increase here. So probably 28. Now let's change the color to this dark blue that we use also use on the side. Now we have our title right there. And the nice thing about this is that it's still editable as text. So let's make a new line. And here we're going to type the name of the other. So three little pics. And remember that here on top, you can change from being all caps to have them being just the text as it is. So let's type the author's name. Remember that yours could be different because you can pick another tail. So let's go and type James Hollywood Phillips by. Of course, it's super big, so we're going to decrease this quite a bit. So instead of, of Lucky's Guide, I can change it to another font that I like that is called Boogaloo. Now here I have a problem with the cap, so I'm going to fix it. So let's capitalize the H, the J. And here, type this properly. And I'll just, let's make it smaller. First, let's sample a color, and you could also scale it just normally as you would do with any other pad, and place it right there below the peaks. And now this is starting to look actually like a cover, because it is. You have your characters, you have your background elements. So in the next lesson, we're going to begin working on this. 
to present it as a 3D cover. So see you there.